I was a bit of a loser when I was a kid, you know, like a bit of a misfit. And um, but my sister, who who really started it all for me, she she she's three years older, and she was going to this club, and she came back and said, you, "You've got to come and see this band play." And, you know, it's like a, a band. What's a band? So I go to this youth club, and uh, there's this most amazing band. Some of them became the Moody Blues by coincidence, but I mean, it, it, it changed my life. I, I was just transfixed um, watching this exciting thing. I, I was almost dribbling. I, I, I stood there the whole night in front of the band. It, it just, I just knew then that's what I needed to do in life. So I, I wouldn't become this sort of gangly, horrible kid and I, I'd sort of blossom into this other person, maybe. Uh, so uh, I, I picked up a guitar, I was 14 years old, I, I, I went and bought a guitar, but my dad, who encouraged me, this is a very long story, because he wanted to be a musician but couldn't afford to be, um, uh, he, he bought me a load of vinyl and he said, you, you know, you want to listen to Wes Montgomery, Jim Hall, Barney Kessel, he said that this, to help me uh, with my playing, and I, and I didn't like it, I didn't like jazz, but I loved the flute. I love Frank Wares, I love uh, Roland Kirk, so I went out and bought a flute. And that's the story. I'll end it there for now. So uh, they, they were in tandem. I learnt guitar and I learnt flute, but flute I learnt, um, I had lessons and I, I did it traditionally. The guitar, I just picked it up on my own. That's so ironic with later obviously being in Jethro Troll and flute being... Yeah. Well, that's how I met them because I, I, in England there was only two guys there were three guys playing flute, four guys playing flute. <laughs> uh, Chris Wood with Traffic, uh, the guy at the Moody Blues, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, Ray Thomas, is it? You probably know. <laughs> okay. Uh, me and Ian Anderson. So, so, and only me and Ian played blues on the flute. So we knew of each other, uh, but had never met. And, uh, and finally, we, we did a gig together and that's how I met them. They remembered me and then six, three months later they contacted me saying that they needed a guitar player. So you hadn't heard their first album? Um, had I? I, know, I hadn't bought it, I hadn't got any money. Uh, but I, I went to see them play at the Marquee Blues Festival uh, in 68. And, and funny enough, Traffic were on as well. Uh, so I'd heard them play, but uh, yeah, I, I just loved what they did because I, I was in a, a band doing similar things without any success, and they were doing what I believed to be great music, and it worked. So when I saw them, I thought, I'd like to be like that, and then uh, there I, I was. Rock Sally TV, Rock Sally TV, Rock Sally TV.